And as you can see, look at that. And as soon as it saw one, it was like, hey, they're everywhere. So at two miles an hour. <laughs> What I want to test out first is, will it pick up spaces where there aren't any cars? And you, as you can clearly see, it's not picking them up. If I slow down and come to a stop, no peas are appearing. Oh, look at that, it actually says stop over there. Even though it doesn't say stop over there, it was saying that it said stop. Now, something that I have seen in this update is these disabled spaces are now recognized. I mean, granted, they're not recognized very well. And as soon as it saw one, it was like, hey, they're everywhere. But as you can see, it's not letting me park into any of these. So it's definitely not reading these. Even though it can see them as spaces, it's not reading it as a space that I could drive into. Today I got a brand new update, 2020.28.1 has dropped and it brings with it absolutely no new features except one language update. But that's not apparently what other people have been telling me. I've read a lot that sometimes there are little improvements hidden within these updates and I got this comment from someone saying, can you, uh, can you test out Auto Park again? Because I'm pretty sure it's had an upgrade and it now works really well. We're on the wrong side of the road here on Auto Park. You saw the Auto Park definitely favoring that right hand side of the road there uh, and was taking us over to the wrong side of the road but that's not what we're here about we're here about auto park so we're coming to test it here we're going to test parallel parking just like at normal adjacent parking all of that kind of good stuff and uh, yeah let's just see how well the car does so i don't really know how to judge this i'm going to go in between these two cars here and i'm going to see if it wants to pick up any parking spaces and see what it will do so if i stop here and reverse has it no it actually hasn't picked up any parking spaces even though there's clearly parking spaces here uh so that definitely is showing that it's not reading any of the lines it's only reading the placement of the cars because it would have known that obviously it can fit in this space pretty easily so it's definitely not updated that okay well that's good that we know that let's go test this then on an actual space where the car should be able to navigate us in here so for example this space on the right uh, there should be enough space for us to go into that little spot there. So let's give that a whirl. Yeah, you can see that it says parking is available. Let's click start and put a timer up in the corner and we'll see how long does this take? Now this is really nice because you can now see obviously what the mirrors themselves are seeing or the equivalent of the mirrors. And we'll see how well it parks in between here. It's a fairly, fairly tight parking space, I've got to say. And we are on a hill as well. So you will see that we are on a very, very slight hill. We've got a person uh, in front of us here and um he's going he's going in front i don't know if the car's going to say it's going to stop because of him or anything no it didn't seem to say anything about him but as you can see backing up nicely and pretty slowly still so i'm going to say from this first test auto park works just as well so far which is great reversing us nicely and can you stop 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 there we go that sometimes it looks like it's not going to stop that's perfect that has actually parked us perfectly here in the car nice and safe now what i'm going to do is from my phone i'm actually going to use smart summon and i'm going to try and summon the car out of this space oh look at that interesting so i can't summon because it says here grade is too steep to use summon so this steepness is too much so if you had your car parked here and you wanted to summon it out go over there because you couldn't get in the side doors you can't spaces like this where there are two spaces the car also will not park in so here we go we've got some angled spaces you can see these are kind of odd angles here loads of them not sure which one it wants to pick but i'm just going to wait okay so it's picked one uh that one over there you can see it's at an angle to the car already and it is an angular bay. This is gonna be quite tough for it to get into, but hopefully it should be absolutely fine. It definitely hasn't sped itself up. So it's definitely slower than a human would do it. And you can tell obviously it is being very, very careful. So I wouldn't say it's been upgraded yet, but don't forget we haven't tested the parallel parking and that is the claimed upgrade. Apparently it parallel parked a lot better, but perpendicular, it is doing it really nicely. It's keeping us nice and centered. But I've got to say, this is a lot, lot longer than a human would take. After this, I'm going to go and do this myself, and I'll show you how quickly, uh, or just how normal speed I would do this. This is where it's quite painful. You can see how slowly we're coming back, and if there was a guy there trying to go past us, he would be banging his horn at me, just going like, why aren't you going? It's very, very slow, but it is very, very secure, and it is very, very safe. Okay, brilliant. So, auto park complete. Now, this time, I'm going to bring out my phone, and we'll try it on this non-hill yeah okay so it now works smart summon i'm going to summon my car out and we're basically going to go to the right and pass this van it is a one way so no one's going to be coming from that side but i will of course keep my eyes peeled and raring to go just in case so um oh okay apparently not it says it's stopping 
Wait, let's try that again. Go to target. So we've got a car on our left. No one else coming. Going to give that a whirl. Are we all good? Yeah, so it's coming out. And you can see it's still driving itself at this point. It's coming. It's stopping. So now it needs to reverse back. Is it going to do it? No, it's still going forward. Yeah, there we go. It's reversing out. So imagine if this was a really, really tough space and you couldn't, you couldn't get to your door or anything. There you go. That actually did really, really well. I'm actually thoroughly surprised it's going to slam on and stop in a second. But uh, I was thoroughly surprised with how well that did. Uh, summon is stopping. Maybe I should do a full summon video soon. Who wants to see a brand new summon video? If you do, hit the like button down below and comment if you think it's going to be improved at all. Because I've got to say, that was... That was quite good. It brought us out really nicely. Parallel parking in the UK is pretty popular. As you can see, everyone pretty much parks on the road down kind of residential areas where people live or just where parking's tight. So let's give it a go. We're going to try and park ourselves into one of these parallel spaces and just see if it works. We've got a huge space here on the right, and that is the space that I want to take. So I'm going to go slow, I'm going to reverse up into it. I'm just going to show you here how quickly like a human would would uh, would parallel park into a space like this and jobs are good and that's pretty much it i don't know how long that took but there's nothing else is needed that is perfect parking let's go see how long the car would take i'm having real troubles getting the car to find any parallel parking spaces what about that one there on the left has it picked that up yes okay so it's picked that one up there so maybe yeah so this is a really really small parking space that it's chosen so maybe all of the other spaces i was picking for it are just way too big we're going to test that space out after this one in a second but just so you know for example i wouldn't have picked this space myself because it is tight and it is very very tight so i'm intrigued to see how well the car does it that's doing pretty nicely it's getting really nice and close that's closer than it used to get which is good to see all the way left hand down pulling it in nicely so on these tighter spaces where yes they will take a little bit more time to actually work and get into that space because it's a finite space that you're trying to get into the auto park system is brilliant for it because i honestly wouldn't have tried to get into this space just because there's bigger spaces but it's really nice to know that the car itself can do that it took a lot longer it was a lot of a tight it was a lot tighter space that was really good uh potentially there's been an update then in parallel parking uh just maybe not in the how it finds the parallel parking spaces because currently it's not finding any so here for example i want the space on the right you can see this massive space here that is where i want the car to park will it do it will it show it for us no see look no parking spaces at all but i bet you it will show that second one Oh no, actually it didn't even show the second one to be totally fair. So just after this sign on the left, I want to park basically between uh, this fear and the road. So I just want to park here on the left. And I'm going to see if we drive past it, will the car know that there's lines there? It definitely knows there's lines there. Will it show us that it can park in that space behind the fear? Or will it just go straight past it? No, as you can see, oh actually, actually I am wrong. It sees a parking space, but wait, what is it seeing as a parking space? No way. It actually just sees that as the space. So I can't do that because that's not correct. And it was trying to parallel park right there. All I'm waiting for is parking spaces to appear on the screen. Ah, here you go. Look at this. So you can see what I was talking about. It actually thinks it for um, disabled spaces are the, 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 pot, the toddler spaces, but they're obviously not. However, it just sees the, the drawing on the ground and it just thinks that, oh, okay, that must be a disabled person. But weirdly, when it actually showed the disabled uh, person logo, it didn't bother showing it on the floor. Kind of strange. Um, so far as well, we've not found, <laughs> I've not found any car parking spaces that the car actually wants to park into. Uh, and we're going to have to do another lap, I think, here of the car park so yeah again so far it's just because the car isn't actually reading any of the lines it's not picking up anything except for exact spaces so again still we've gone through loads of spaces there but no peas are coming up at all um, so it's not wanting to park in any of these spaces again even though there's no cars here it won't park in these spaces it will auto park though at or auto drive oh it'll go all the way down to zero now it never used to go down to zero so i think that's new I'm going to auto drive this corner at two miles an hour. I know this isn't to do with the video, but you know that I like to do some wacky things. So at two miles an hour, 
<laughs> it just full on aborted. It didn't even it didn't even attempt to turn. It like saw the turn. It was like, yeah, no, I'm definitely not gonna get that. All right, so there's spaces here on the left that the car has to be able to pick up. There's absolutely tons of them, and if it doesn't pick any of these up, this is gonna be an absolutely huge fail. Okay, there we go. Picking one up. You can also see that it saw the lady from this far away all the way down, um, all the way down the road. But let's see again how well it does this. No problems at all here. Again, this isn't going to be as quick as, as humans doing it, as we can see. But because luckily there's no one around us, we've actually got no problems taking our time. And that is what it does. I'm also very surprised that it always comes back and then it always has to go forward. I'm amazed that it hasn't figured out to do it in one. But you can see how slowly it still wants to do it. And I think every single one of these is 30 seconds to a minute long easily. Oh, wow, this is slow. I mean, it's brilliant. It's awesome tech, and it's doing it perfectly. But gosh, does it do it slowly. Yeah, so, oh, and is it going over the line? Oh, just, no, no, it's actually stopped just at the line, which is good. So, not bad. You know, it, it did it. I'm definitely going to say there wasn't an improvement in this update because you can tell that it's not quicker. What I was really hoping was at least like a 50% improvement to speed. Okay, this could be a perfect space here on the left. I actually want to get my car into that space there on the left. It is on the road, so this is going to be a tough parking for it to do, but it is a parallel park. It is doing it all by itself. Let's give it a whirl. I put the indicator on. Uh, you can turn it off, but I'm just leaving it on. And this really needs to be able to do it in one for this to be kind of valuable and actually usable on the road. And as you can see, look at that. Parallel parking really nicely. That's way better than I would do it. And roughly actually about the same speed, I'm not gonna lie. I am thoroughly impressed with how that parallel parked. So perpendicular parking seems very slow and pretty sucky. It won't park at a diagonal at all. Trust me, it won't do it at all. Parallel though, look at that. Did it really well, didn't annoy anyone. That's not half bad. In conclusion, has there been an upgrade? Has there been an update to auto parking? No, there definitely hasn't. Don't get me wrong, parallel parking does seem a little bit better and I was kind of happy to see that it was a little bit quicker, but it still wasn't perfect and it still needed some updating. In conclusion then, I don't... In conclusion, there's been no update to auto park that I can notice. Parallel parking was a little bit quicker when we were able to test it, but actually getting it to be able to do it seemed to be a bigger issue than I thought. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section, and also let me know anything else you want me to test with the Model 3 and all of its tech here on Tesla Driver. Thank you all so much for watching, and again, a huge shout out to all our patrons. We've now got 58 patrons, which is insane. Thank you all so much for joining. If you want to get yourself a free Tesla supercharger, all you need to do is become a patron by the end of the month, and you will be receiving one. All level three and above patrons will be receiving them in the post next month. Thank you all so much. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.